What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name's Jeff and on today's show we're just going to go over a few thoughts on sealing concrete in cold weather so stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So one of the biggest questions that we get here at Deco Creek this time of year is can I seal my concrete in cold weather or just simply how cold is too cold to seal concrete? Now, honestly, I mean, there is really no one size fits all answer for this. And like so many other things in our business, it just depends on the situation. So first up, what type of sealer are you using? And I mean, we're gonna break this down into two different sections, water-based versus solvent-based, and then also penetrating sealer versus topical sealer. So when it comes to water-based versus solvent-based, this is an easy answer. And I would avoid any kind of water-based sealer all together in any sort of cooler temperatures. I mean, honestly, anything under about 55, I just wouldn't use water-based sealers at all. So the other thing about water-based sealer versus solvent-based is water-based will definitely freeze during storage. So just be careful with that. Don't leave this stuff in your shop all winter long, or even if the temperatures are getting down like into the high 20s, even 30 degrees, this stuff will freeze. And once it does freeze, that stuff is basically unusable. It's never gonna come back to what it should be. Now, solvent-based on the other hand, this is completely different. A uh, sealer like D1, for example, is not going to freeze pretty much no matter what you do. I mean, unless it's like in Alaska all winter long, uh, that stuff is going to be completely fine. So you can store it wherever you want. But just keep in mind that if this stuff did get really cold overnight, it does need to warm up before you use it. So if it was in your shop and it got down to 35 degrees last night and now you're heading out to seal some concrete, just make sure that that stuff warms up before you spray it on. Now, when it comes to topical sealer versus penetrating sealer, I mean, there is a little bit of a difference here as in the topical sealers, the whole point about them is that they're gonna leave a film behind and if it's too cold for that sealer, that film is probably gonna turn cloudy or even white, where penetrating sealers, on the other hand, that's not the case. It's just gonna penetrate down into the concrete and do its thing chemically. Now, you do need to be careful with, with penetrating sealers, however. I mean, you know, some of them are water-based and again, they can look funny if they're applied uh, when it's too cold. And so, again, the easy answer on all this stuff is if it's under 50, just don't do it. And if you decide to, well, you are gonna assume some risk, but just keep in mind uh, that there are a difference between something that's gonna penetrate and become water repellent as opposed to putting a film on something, which is gonna be a really, really big visual defect if it's too cold for it. Now, the next thought is how long has the concrete been poured? I mean, is it even ready to seal yet? Does it need to be sealed? You know, in a lot of cases, especially with backyard patios, sidewalks, things like that, I mean, if you poured it late in the year, I mean, you might be better off just wait until next spring to seal it, especially on those stamped concrete jobs. And also just keep in mind, you know, the newer the concrete is, the more vulnerable it's gonna be to wintertime damage from like road salts and things like that. Now, if the concrete wasn't uh, poured recently at all, and this is just simply a reseal situation, I mean, in that case, yes, uh, if the concrete needs sealed, it is a good idea to get it sealed before the winter time. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that newer concrete always will be more vulnerable to those wintertime damage like road salts and things like that. And so this kind of leads me to my next point is what is the purpose of this slab? Anyways, because honestly, if it was a backyard patio or something like that, I mean, the best answer probably is just wait till next spring. Driveways, on the other hand, uh, that is a different story. I mean, it's never great to leave a driveway completely unprotected over the winter. And this is where, you know, we don't love pouring driveways in November just to avoid this altogether. There's also obviously a big difference in expectations of driveways versus patios. Driveways, I mean, although we always want them to look good, it is a functional thing. Or patios, porches, sidewalks, a lot of times that is gonna be a lot more visual. And so again, you just have to make it, if you're trying to seal concrete in the weather score, you gotta make a choice at what is the most important thing to you. So anytime that the temperature is under 50 to 55 degrees, I mean, you're gonna have to treat things a little bit different. And the first tip is to kind of look at the big picture of the temps um, over the course of the entire day, or maybe even the course of a couple days. And you know, just because it's 40 degrees right now in the morning and you're about to load up and go seal some concrete, um, you know, if that weather is gonna be climbing to 55 degrees throughout the day and you're able to get that stuff on and it has plenty of time to sit there and dry up, that is a completely different story 
um, than just saying that it might hit 45 at one point in the day and immediately uh, start dipping back down. Now, another tip is that actually this is kind of opposite of sealing in the summertime. In this case, actually try to wait for a sunny day um, or, you know, look at the extended forecast. Is there going to be one day this week that the temperatures are going to be right for sealing? So another little tip would be to actually try to seal earlier in the day. And I mean, this is always a good idea no matter what, but the whole point is that, you know, if it's going to be warmer today and you're going to get a little bit of sunshine, get that on early. That way you don't have to worry about that stuff sitting there and turn white on you. So now uh, the big question, how cold is too cold? And you know, the easy answer again is just read the data sheet of whatever product you're using and there's gonna be temperature ranges on there. But from a real world standpoint, I would never ever spray concrete sealer on anything if it's under 40 degrees. Now, again, this could make a difference. Is it 40 degrees right now and it's gonna to continue to get warm or is it 50 degrees right now and it's gonna be at 40 in a couple hours? You're gonna to have to kind of play that game and look at the extended forecast, but never under 40, no matter what. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this week's show. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Also, don't forget about the Decorative Concrete Expo. It happens every single February. All you gotta do is click the link right down in the description and all the information is there. So from all of us here at DecoCree TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.